roll the abduction pad away from the sling and remove the hook strip. Flip the sling over for the left side configuration and ensure the pad flap is fully extended out from the bottom of the sling. With the inside curve of the pad facing upward and the flat side on the table, attach the flap to the center top edge of the pad via the hook strip on the flap. Roll the pad toward the sling and attach the other side of the hook strip on the flap to the loop on the sling. Ensure there is no exposed hook material between the pad and sling. Before applying, release the shoulder strap from the front gray buckle clasp, where the D-ring attaches to the front cuff of the sling. Release the waist strap from the front black buckle clasp on the pad. Unattach the forearm strap to completely open the sling. Align the pad around the patient's waistline on the affected side. Place the affected arm in the sling and position the patient's hand under the thumb strap so it rests comfortably in the fold of the sling. Ensure the patient's elbow is positioned as far back in the sling as possible. Adjust the elbow bursitis pad and the elbow cuff strap via the hook and loop closure at the back of the sling for fit and comfort. Adjust the sling length by rolling the cuff at the front of the sling until the sling is aligned with the first joint of the patient's pinky finger. Reattach the forearm strap to close and secure the sling. Bring the shoulder strap across the patient's back and non-affected shoulder. Place non-affected arm through the strap in the shape of a circle and reconnect the front gray buckle clasp to the gray D-ring attached to the sling cuff. Strap length can be adjusted by lengthening or shortening the hook ends of the straps for desired fit. If necessary, the strap length can also be trimmed. To trim the straps, remove the Y tab from the end of the strap. Trim the strap to desired length and reapply the Y tab. Apply the waist strap by bringing the strap around the patient's waist and reconnecting the front black buckle clasp on the pad. Tighten the waist strap for proper fit. If the waist strap is too long, remove Y tab and trim strap to desired length. The position of the pad may be adjusted by sliding the block forward or backward along the waistline to achieve the desired external or internal rotation. An exercise ball is included to promote proper circulation and encourage exercise.